Hey guys, so I know I said I wasn't going to do one of these videos, but I just feel like it has not been talked in about enough. So today I am going to be reviewing the Tiny Tails Comfy House by PetSmart. If you don't know yet, PetSmart came out with their own line of hamster cages, sadly all of which are unsuitable. Um, it's very disappointing because PetSmart could do so much better and if you want to help PetSmart create better and more humane hamster cages for hamsters, please sign the petition down in the description bar below. We're trying to get 20,000 signatures before we send it off to PetSmart and then hopefully we can work together with them to create better humane hamster cages unlike these. If you are unfamiliar with hamster care, a hamster should have a cage that is no smaller than 450 square inches of floor space. I actually recommend even bigger because they are animals who need a lot of space. Now this cage has only about 241 square inches of floor space. And I just want to point out, it does say here, ideal for hamsters, gerbils, and mice. Um, because I know I'm going to get a comment saying this is made for dwarf hamsters. No, it's not. It doesn't list anywhere that it is only for dwarf hamsters, and this isn't suitable for a dwarf hamster either. They need just as much space as any other hamster. Another thing I want to mention is how disappointing these cages are for the fact that these are specifically marketed towards children. As you can see, the box is super like fun looking. There's a cartoon hamster on the back. It literally says, collect and connect them all. It sounds like a children's toy. A hamster is not a child's toy, it is a living, breathing animal. Hamsters shouldn't be marketed as a child's play toy. So let's get to opening this cage. Oh my gosh. So we have the bars here, um, some styrofoam. My rabbit's litter box is bigger than the base of this cage. Oh, thank, are you trying to help me open this? Thank you. Okay, I got everything out. So the first thing that I see in here is, it looks to be stickers, because once again, this is marketed towards children. Um, as a children's toy, this really reminds me of a McDonald's Happy Meal when you get like little extra things with your toy. And then there is, oh, <laughs> a, a word search too. Nice. Re this is literally so marketed towards children, it's not even funny. So one of the first things I actually want to do is I want to measure this base myself. When you're measuring a hamster cage, usually the measurements on the box are going to tell you the outside measurements, not to mention these have curved edges, so this cage is most likely even smaller than what I said at the beginning of the video. So after I have measured the base myself, it turns out this cage actually only has 155 square inches of floor space. Mm -hmm. Let's just go in like this. Slide a clear tube panel. Okay, one of these thingies. Why is this so difficult? Okay. Oh. This like clippy thing is not clipping down on there, so that's not clearly secure. Yeah, I love that. And this wire does not want to stay in the place. Oh. This wire literally is not, it does not fit this base. That's great. We did it, it is secured to this base. Cleo, you're literally the same size as this hamster cage. Isn't that hilarious? So the rings that go on these tubes are so hard to literally take off once you have put it on a tube. Oh my gosh, can you imagine trying to clean these? This wire is not even in the base. Okay, you good? Okay, so I got the platform in there and it's actually secure this time, so it's not gonna like wobble around. Now it is telling me to grab the water bottle and I wanna point out how badly made this water bottle is. 
If you can see this, the spout goes down. Do you know the type of angle a hamster is going to have to reach up and drink at this? They are going to have to bend their neck so terribly bad it can actually cause issues when they're having to bend their neck like that to drink out of a water bottle. I really don't like this water bottle at all. I really just don't like this cage in general. The next step is to attach this wheel, which has tubes in it. I do also want to point out this wheel that comes with the cage. I think this is like a six inch wheel. This is too small for Syrians and most ha hamsters. Unless you have a robo, then yes, this is going to fit all right. But any other hamster, this is going to cause back issues and their back will bend. Um, especially since Syrians are actually one of the most popular bought um, hamsters. This isn't suitable for them. This is supposed to go... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a little bit... Better. Okay, you... Can you... Can you just like just sit there honestly connect okay get all these tubes i guess and i gotta do some connecting yay oh i have to create the heidi hat okay so these things we have to build Did i put this on backward no oh, shoot <laughs> Backwards. Remove the cap from the right side of the house. Oh, whoops, jeez. Take that off, throw it away. Then pop this one out. Which way do I pop? Whoa! <laughs> that is not my favorite type of secureness, but. Oh, there we go. We got it. Doesn't want to attach. Which isn't safe, because you need it to be secure. We're just gonna leave it like this because I absolutely have tried my hardest. I cannot clip these for the life of me. No matter how hard I push on this clip, it does not want to stay down. So this is literally floating. I bet. How does this door even open? I don't... Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm sweating so bad right now. So that was the most frustrating thing I've ever had to do. I have had more success setting up an IKEA Detox than I have this cage. Um, let's just go through this a little bit. This, this doesn't even, like this bit, this top part, it's not even attached because I literally have tried my hardest to try and clip these things down. Like I pushed with all my strength, it will not clip. The base, this is about a a two inch, I think this is about a two inch base. Hamsters need to have a section in their cage that has at least six inches of bedding so that gives them the ability to burrow. A hamster can't burrow in two inches. Another thing I do want to mention, a lot of people think that just because it has this little what is it, clubhouse on top of here, they think this adds space. It really doesn't, this really does not count. When it comes to hamster floor space, a hamster needs a uh, running space, they don't need climbing space, and a level like this does not count when it comes to floor space. So overall, I'm just so disappointed with PetSmart. So I'm just looking at this cage. The wire popped out! Oh, there we go, we popped it back in. Yay! So now I wanted to show you guys what the cage would actually look like if it had a hamster in it. This is Honey, my Syrian hamster. So Honey is a relatively small Syrian, which is why she's okay to fit through these tubes, but an average size Syrian, I would really worry about trying to get through these tubes, and I would worry that they would get stuck. As you can see, she can't even fit in this wheel, and her back was bending quite a bit when she did get in there. A hamster living its lifetime in one of these cages can cause serious stress to a hamster and boredom. You'll often see your hamster climbing the bars of the cage because they have nothing else to do, as well as constantly bar chewing. Honey has been in this cage for less than five minutes and she already is starting to chew on the bars. I 
I also wanted to just show you guys for in comparison here this is a 110 cord bin cage this has around 500 square inches of floor space give or take and this is compared to the tiny tails cage so as you can see the tiny tails cage could probably fit in this cage if I detach the tubes it could probably fit this way two and a half or three times so if you were thinking of getting one of these cages, please save your money and go for something else. Bin cages are cheap. You can also find used large tanks on Craigslist or Kijiji. Um, this just is not a good cage and it does not provide the hamster the space it needs. So please, for your hamster's sake, go with something bigger. So yeah guys, now I need to take this all apart so I can put it back in the box and take it back to PetSmart because I'm not giving them any of my money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching. Bye!